Firstly, make mountain folds along the horizontal lines. Then open them up. If you flip the paper over, it's much easier to do. There is a line that has both red and blue dotted lines. Make a mountain fold along this line too. Next, make mountain folds along the vertical lines. If you find it tricky to get a sharp edge on your fold, try flipping the paper over and folding it just like this. Let's fold these diagonals as valley folds. Valley folds are shown as blue dotted lines. Make sure to only fold where you can see the blue dotted lines. Again, if you're having trouble making a good sharp fold, try it from the opposite side. Moving on, let's make diagonal folds on the other side. If you find it difficult to make these small valley folds, flip the paper over just like this and pinch them. It's much easier to do that way. Now, on these marked areas, apply valley folds to where you've already made mountain folds. Make sure each crease is sharp. This will help give a much better final shape. Now you have all the folds you need. So let's turn it into a globe. Roll the paper up until just one column overlaps. Cup it in your palms to keep the shape. And adjust the flaps on the south pole one by one to lock it in place. Turn it over and adjust the flaps on the north pole until you have a nice tight globe. Congratulations, your globe is complete.